place in schools at the heart of the community has opened up a world of opportunity for students of all ages and abilities. College is no longer about going to school and getting the grades. You've got to be a well-rounded person. I've definitely got more skills and uh, more confident in myself. It shows me what I can do for in the future. By creating partnerships with parents, businesses and the wider community, everyone can grow and learn. There's something for everyone in the school. I mean, whatever your interest in, there's always a way to look more into that interest because there's so many professionals within the college actually working. In an area of high unemployment, Ashfield invited businesses into their school to introduce the students to the world of work. Certainly, I've put the machine on really slow. Okay. Schools really struggle to get industrial input, so it didn't really feel strange to be asked because I think it's really good when businesses work with school students because it gets them understanding how industry is rather than it coming out of a textbook. Final designs. You've got all the books in front of you. I want you to start researching it, research in the front of the sketchbook and then design development, and I'll come around and see how you're getting on. Your fashion changes altogether. Because you learn that about pattern cutting and everything, you just completely change your idea of fashion. Use some of these books as well, because if you use this... It's one... really competitive to get on the course. I think there's about 40 students going for the course, and we could only have 12. So I want you to position... I think it gives them a proper view of the industry. So I try to be as honest as I can with them, give them the industrial input, and hopefully they'll make the right decisions about what they want to do. I'm not like the proper moral student, like, does everything right, don't swear, and stuff like that, because I do. <laughs> And it's like, when you're like in Lindsay's lesson, it's just like deadly back. And she's like, don't let you do what you want, but she's like, there. Certainly the attitude has changed in terms of it being a real work environment. Um, it's not a classroom, it's a workshop, it's a canteen, it's a kitchen, it's a fashion design area, etc. Uh, and I think just the environment changes the youngster's attitude. Learning how to use their initiative, basically, because, you know, when they're that age, they're very scared and very embarrassed. And these courses, when they're in practical situations, dealing with customers, they are using these skills. And it's growing. It's growing in confidence and using that work experience to deal with people they're not used to dealing with, because they are, at the end, they're only teenagers, which is a difficult situation at the best of times. Sure. Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Good. That's what I want to hear. Just prove that I can do it if I really try. It's helped me um, with my confidence, definitely. Like, when talking to customers, I used to be really shy. Well, right from the start, the SSAT have been behind the project. It's very much a sharing of good practice. Identifying what works well, how youngsters benefit, how it improves outcomes, and how those um, ideas can be transferred into other school settings. Maybe other schools don't do it on the size of the Ashfield Schools Skills Centre, but certainly they've taken away ideas and they've integrated them into their own schools. Community involvement has been the driving force behind the transformation of what the Daily Mail called the worst school in Britain. In order to make the dramatic changes that were necessary at Phoenix High School, it wasn't sufficient to be able to just do a good job in the classroom. I had to grow the children as learners, I had to grow their confidence, and in order to do that, I had to grow the involvement and the confidence of the parent body. Outreach work, working beyond the school gate, has always been an integral part of what we sought to do. And one of the ways we tried to make that uh, leap from school to the community was by developing a family learning component of the school. It's actually really key to use schools for this because they're already here. They're already part of the community. Oh, very good. I like to meet everybody from different countries, different uh, cultures. For me, it's a very good school. They make a lot of activities for everybody. They're helping the people on the estate to sort of uh, socialise, to be empowered. We want the youngsters to see their parents also as learners. And once they've had a degree of success and they've had a compliment, that gives them greater uh, encouragement to continue their learning. So they will start, I'm going to do some basic English. I will do some mathematics. I will learn how to use a computer. I think it's important that adults should learn how to use computers. Take the mouse. Me teaching those adults in there actually helped them, which made me feel actually good. The school created many other initiatives too. 
we created a farm which is used by children at preschool all the way up to senior citizens. Most important thing. So you've all planted lots of stuff before, so I'm sure you remember how to do it. I've learned how to plant some really weird and wonderful plants and flowers. It's quite a nice like feeling that like you've planted them and they've turned out big and tall from like little seeds. So this will be our first crop of the season, hopefully. It is also yeah. very therapeutic for some of our children to work with their hands, to work with the soil, and to grow and nurture. And it's in such a contrast to the hurly burly of inner city life. Sometimes you can come out on the farm. It's quite nice, the breeze, and like you can learn, you can learn like more stuff out here. It's really important to remember that the students are individual and they don't all learn in the same way. So we're sometimes very direct, but sometimes we take a slightly circuitous route to actually get to the same point. At Beecham College, they've developed their community work through a range of partnerships. We took a strategic decision that we would engage with as wide an audience as possible in the community. So, for example, we've had a large amount of money goes to our primary schools for technology projects, but we've also looked at adult learning and a variety of projects which engage the local community of all ages. The first thing we did is we set up a stakeholders forum. Now, there are people on there from statutory organisations such as the police and health. Uh, we have local politicians. We have a variety of faith groups. Now they've become a great springboard for us to identify the needs of the local community and then either we as Beecham College or the stakeholders have been able to apply for funds to develop community projects. We got the drama students to do a dramatisation of the consequences of knife crime and we took the dramatisation um, from Beecham and we showed it around to the high schools uh, and it worked absolutely brilliantly and this year we've got other ideas we've got drugs alcohol and again we'll be using the same methods Beecham welcomes many community groups into the college I'm student ambassador I talk to a group of old people they come into Beecham every kind of Thursday um, and when we have half terms they go on trips and stuff like that but they're all over the age of 80 and they all live on their own they have tea. They've got a really big yellow teapot. It takes seven tea bags to make that tea, <laughs> at least. We all just have a chat and they just talk about their life. He says, and I've no reason to doubt him, that he quite likes being here because everybody's nice to him, you know. I had Christmas dinner with them and we just chatted and it was really nice. Going to talk to them, I've learned how to communicate with other people, um, especially <laughs> people of an older age much more easily so I can have a perfect conversation with them and feel comfortable. Great part of my week, I've told them. They don't believe me, this is the highlight of my Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much this relationship between young adult and, and older adult that has been fostered and developed and I think that's one of the reasons through our extended service and community engagement that the young people are becoming more confident, more self-assured in order to achieve their best possible results. It shouldn't be all about academics. I think there's, there's a wide range of skills that children have got now and I think they ought to be valued for those skills and I think the things that they can provide that give those children opportunities in different areas are, are absolutely fantastic. Nicole is my youngest daughter. As parents, you want to try and be involved in things, but I think now, I think the school empowers you to do that, you know, that you don't feel as though, um, you know, you're pushing your way in sort of thing. They, they try and get you involved as much as they can. I definitely think the wider community do benefit from this because this isn't where it ends. I mean, one day everyone's going to go out of school and they're going to have to be part of the community. So by learning community cohesion now, it makes it so much easier when you're older. And talking to different types of people really helps build your interpersonal skills, not just yours, but everyone in the schools. People really have a passion for learning. But this has helped me to open up fully as a character and really become who I am.